Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings. You know what I'm going to say. If you are watching this video, then you have already been blessed with the breath of life. So let's get into this word for today. It is a good one. I'm going to go ahead and warn you. You may want to get your pen and paper out or listen to it several times so that you can write down some key points. All right. Let's go to the word. Now, the sermon title is The Antidote for Anxiety. The Antidote for Anxiety. So, you know, we have been in uh, mental health awareness. So, um, this is a little late in coming, but better late than never. The Antidote for Anxiety. So many things are going on today that we have become overwhelmed with anxiety. So, let's just talk about it. Number one, give it to God. Cast your anxiety to God. The word cast is an action word. You have to take action. It's something that you do. Give it to God. Cast it to God. The enemy wants you to miss out on a beautiful day today by keeping you worried about tomorrow. Don't miss that one. Bills, inflation, the government, your children, stress. God has never forsaken the righteousness. Don't let the enemy take your beautiful day today worrying about tomorrow. God has always come through for you. Look at God's resume. God has always come through for you. God is not in heaven worrying. You know why? Because he already knows. God is not in heaven worrying. So why are you? God is in control. Everyone goes through anxiety at some point in their lives. David in the Bible defeated Goliath, but later was in anxiety when he was being attacked by King Solomon to the point that he was in the cave uh, trembling. He became so overwhelmed, but David called on the name of the Lord. We get in a mental state of mind these days and we call our friends. We need to call on the Lord because he can fix it. Call on the God who made you and created you and knows how to fix things in your life. It's a season of anxiety. It's foreign and only temporary. Do not forget that this is a season of anxiety, not a full ongoing rest of your life season. This is only temporary. Do not miss that. That's another thing the enemy wants to do. He wants you to think that everything in your life is going to be the rest of your life permanently, but that is not true. This is just a season in your life. It's temporary. Cast your anxieties to God and he will sustain you and you will live through this. During the pandemic, Everyone was inside worrying and wondering what was going to happen. Now, here we are. Lots of sickness and death occurred during the pandemic, but now we are past that season by the grace of God. Number two, stay in prayer. So first, you're going to cast your anxiety on God. Number two, you're going to stay in prayer. Stay in prayer to avoid anxiety. Go to God in a place of faith and peace, knowing God will guard your heart and mind. Peace when you lost a loved one. Peace when you went through a breakup. Peace when you lost a job. Peace when you can't pay your bills. God will give you peace to go through your daily life. Peace that surpasses understanding. Peace instead of panic. Cast your anxiety to God and pray. In the Bible, the three Hebrew boys went into the fiery furnace, but four came out. So don't miss that. Three Hebrew boys went into the fiery furnace, but four were seen walking out. The fourth one that came out was the son of God himself. So God will be with you through your anxiety if you give it to him. He'll be right there with you. When the three Hebrew boys came out and the fourth, the son of God, was right there with them, they came out untouched, unharmed, 
Didn't even smell like smoke. Stay in peace today. Don't give anxiety a place in your mind making you live in fear. God will put an end to whatever is bothering and worrying you. God will free you from it. It's already defeated. The enemy will make a lot of noise to put you in anxiety mode, but God has defeated your enemy. When you feel anxiety rising up, just say, enemy, no thanks. No thanks, you're defeated already. God has risen up and defeated anxiety. Trust God, you are fixing to have peace, which surpasses all understanding. Be blessed and cast your cares on God. So cast it over to God and stay in prayer. That is how you defeat anxiety. And then I know in the sermon note, it said that uh, it's a season. It may not feel like it's just a season, but it is temporary. And then you're going to once again, suddenly see yourself come out of that uh, feeling, those feelings, flooded feelings of anxiety and depression and just constantly worrying. You're going to see yourself come out of that and you're going to remember what you did, that you cast your anxiety on God and that you stayed in prayer. And anytime you stay in prayer, let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit is with you. When the Holy Spirit is with you, that means he's in you. He's going to push out anything that you have inside of you. So if, you've had, if you have anxiety and worry and fear, then when the Holy Spirit, you allow him to come in and fill you up because you're staying in faith and you're trusting in him, then he's going to push out all that anxiety of the enemy and, and it's going to go somewhere else. Now, guess what? It's going to try to come back on you. But guess what you do? You do the same thing. Cast your anxiety and you stay in prayer. So even when it tries to rear its ugly head, you say, no thanks. I'm not missing out on my beautiful day today, which God has granted me. I'm going to enjoy my day because... God always fixes it anyways. There you go. Cast your anxieties out. Those are your antidotes. Cast and stay in prayer. And of course, faith. All right. If you have not joined this family, join Grace Ministries today. Go ahead so that you don't miss any of the uh, blessings that we, we have here. Feel free to share any um, uh interesting interesting i can't say that were interesting things that you would like to share as far as a personal testimony or something that you would like to hear more of the word on here we are just a body of believers and we are just trying to make it through until we get to our heavenly home be blessed and remember powerful blessings are coming Starting the day because for when you're going to cast out this anxiety, you're going to feel better than ever. You're going to be smiling and you're going to actually be in joy and peace. So powerful blessings coming. Be blessed and hello to my old uh, family and my new family too. So glad to see you all. Thank you so much for your support and I really appreciate you. And let's keep this thing going. And remember, we are not in it alone. And remember, heaven is our home. Be blessed.